this video we're going to talk about uh, scheduling which is a new piece to our puzzle um, we haven't had scheduling in Devero uh, up to this point but Kinzer we will so we've got a new scheduler Brooke um, she's done a lot of our QA stuff she will start to um, input and in data entry the schedule for the patients so I want to just kind of review that process what that's going to look like um, when Chris builds a patient into Kinzer, she is going to assign all the initial evals. So uh, nursing, she'll assign a start of care. PT, she'll assign a PT eval. If there's OT and speech ordered, she'll assign those evals as well. Um, so all the initial evaluations will be, uh, will be scheduled. She's going to pick a date, um, typically uh, the date of discharge from the hospital. So that date might not coincide with the actual start of care date. So, and that's totally fine because you can adjust that. All the clinicians have access to adjust the target date um, on forms that they're assigned to, okay? So if, if patient discharged the 25th and we went in on the 27th, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead here on my target date and change that to the 27th. So now that's going to move here. Okay. Um, once you fill out your frequencies on your start of care or your initial eval and you submit that, Brooke will go in and she'll see what those frequencies are. So be, um, uh, be as precise as you can. So let's say that the nurse wants to go in uh, for four visits and they're going to they're going to say weekly for four four visits. So what she'll do is she'll come in and she'll say, OK, there's the first week, second week, third and fourth week. She's going to schedule all those visits on Monday, which is the first uh, day of the week, uh, uh, according to Medicare. So she, you, you won't see this in the video because it doesn't capture what I'm doing here, but there's a drop drop down menu uh, that I'm choosing the actual form that I want to assign. So she's going to assign the skilled nurse visit for those two days and she'll update that. So now the nurse knows on their schedule for Betty Sue that she's got the four visits scheduled weekly and that's a good reminder for her to know when to go in. Now let's say that she does not want to go in on the 5th and the 12th to Betty Sue. She won't go in until maybe this week she wants to go in on the 7th. So she's going to change that date to the 7th. And then for the 12th, she wants to go in on the 16th. That's totally fine. This is the beauty about you guys having access to your schedule as you can update um, when when you want to go in if it's not on the days that Brooke scheduled for you, okay? Most agencies don't allow their clinicians to have access, but I think it would be more of a mess trying to coordinate back and forth on, hey, change the date to this and change the date to that. Uh, we'll initially build the schedule for you here in the office with Brooke, and then you can get in and adjust the actual days of the week that you go in. Um, she will do this on all, all disciplines. So on the PT eval, she'll go in on the PT eval and gather your frequencies. So if it's one time, if it's one time um, the first week and then two times the second week and then two times the third week, one time the fourth, one time the fifth, then that's what she's going to build. And then let's say you want to discharge. Maybe the fifth week is when you're going to discharge. So on that fifth week, instead of doing a PT visit, she'll do a PT discharge. She'll assign that to you. So now the PT schedule is built. Okay. And again, PT has access to go in and change the dates to however they want it to look during that week. Okay. Um, Brooke will be on every thread when it comes to the Lua application, the texting application. So if you want Brooke to change something for you, go ahead and get into Betty Sue's text thread and say, Brooke, could you please change the fifth to the seventh? And as soon as she's um, 
available to do that, she will make that change um, because she won't be available 24 seven. And there might be a time where you as a clinician want to get into the home right then. Um, again, you can go in and you can assign yourself a visit if you need. So if the nurse wants to do uh, an extra visit here on the 12th, um, they can do that. Find the patient in the episode manager, click on the 12th, okay, it's assigned to me, and I want it to be an RN visit note. Again, you can't see this drop-down box, but I'm choosing the actual form I want it to be, and then I insert it, okay? So now you've just given yourself a task. Let's say you're at the home, right in the moment, and you don't have a form or a task assigned to you. You just have gone in and created that task, so now you can go into your hot box, and you can open up that visit note and perform the visit. So again, another good, good reason to give the clinicians the availability to the schedule to be able to assign um, a visit in the moment if they need to, okay? Now, if the patient um, is being seen by a PTA or a home health aide, Brooke will um, auto schedule in supervisory visits for you. So if they're on past two weeks, so she'll get in and she'll say, okay, this week we're going to schedule a supervisory um, visit on the 9th to the nurse. So she'll do that. The PT is going to do a functional reassessment at the 30 day mark. So she's going to do that. And then she'll choose functional reassessment. Um, I can find the form here. I'm looking for that. Okay. So now, again, in your hot box, it will pop up that you have a functional reassessment due for that week. So now you know that one of those visits that you've got assigned for that week has to be um, a reevaluation supervisory visit for your PTA. So those will, those will all be in there for you as a reminder, which will be nice. You don't have to worry about counting back and saying, hey, has it been two weeks? Has it been 30 days? Do I have to do my supervisory visit yet? It'll all be assigned to you um, as we build the schedule from day one. Um, let's see. Scheduling. Remember, everything's color-coded so you can for quick access look to see what's what's scheduled what's complete um you you'll also see your missed visits they'll be in this i'm not sure what type of urine colored yellow <laughs> how about <laughs> so um be aware of that um and again uh we want to try and have the office manage the schedule as much as possible so if 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 you can text in on the thread and have Brooke manage your, your visit changes, that'll be great. Uh, otherwise, um, you can go ahead and, and help manage those as well. Let's say the patient discharges early. Let's say they discharge on the 7th because they went in for a post-op visit. The doc said, hey, you're, you're good to go, start OT or outpatient therapy, excuse me. So now we want them off of service. So that's okay. Um, instead of that being um, a P or a uh, RN visit, I'm going to make the ninth. Um, I'm going to make the ninth a discharge. So I'll find my discharge and insert that. Okay, um, and I'll take my visit off there. So now I know that, that that's a discharge. Don't worry about cleaning up the chart. So these aren't going to apply because we discharged on this day. Before we complete the chart, uh, Brick will go through and clean everything up. So um, these won't apply at this point, of course. So she will delete those and get those off of the patient's chart. Um, and they'll pop up in red anyway once the patient has been discharged. So we'll know what, what, to, what to discharge or delete out of the patient's chart as well. Um, what else on scheduling? 
I think for the most part, that's going to be that's going to be the gist of of the schedule. Um, if you have any questions or concerns with scheduling, again, use the patient thread to ask those. Uh, Brooke and I will be attached to every thread, so either her or I can respond to your scheduling questions. We can actually add add things in for you, switch days for you. Um, so. Uh, you, if you want to add days, um, you can create an order. Those will just populate underneath your order tab. One thing to be aware of is that uh, we're finding a lot of um, the nurse uh, and the PT's uh, frequency time frame is varying a lot, which is totally fine. The problem is, is that the nurse will schedule maybe three weeks of visits, and then the PT is scheduling six weeks of visits. So now the nurse has to go back in and get an order for that DC visit once the therapist is done. So I would suggest that um, what you do, nurses, is that you schedule what you think the patient will need. If you don't wanna match the therapist, that's totally fine. If you feel that six weeks with weekly visits is too much for nursing, or the patient reaches their goals within three weeks, great. Or schedule three weeks for your nursing and then schedule a, uh, a discharge visit. Then that discharge visit, what Brooke will do is she'll look at the therapies and see if they've done six weeks of visits, then what she'll do is she'll schedule your discharge visit on that six week, okay? So, um, don't, don't be afraid to, to, or, to schedule or order your visits um, and then order a separate DC visit because we can move that DC visit wherever we want if you haven't given it a time frame. So what we'll do is we'll just put it on the same week that the, that the therapist discharges so you know, okay, therapy's discharged, the patient on the 26th, so now I've got a discharge visit scheduled for that same week as well. Therapist, for you, um, Brooke will just take, if you've got, you know, one week one, uh, two week three, one week one, we're going to assume that that last one week one is your discharge visit. So that last week, that last one week one, we will put that in at the discharge visit instead of a PT visit, okay? Um, so that's how that's going to look. Again, any questions, feel free to reach out to Brooke or I about this and we'll work together through it. All right, guys. Thank you.